Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro, and I want to talk about the differences between the Surface Pro 7 and the Surface Pro 7 Plus, or the 8th Gen Surface Pro. So uh, well, there's some different confusion on why it wasn't called the Surface Pro 8. I really think it deserves it. Now the Plus has the 11th Gen processor from Intel, and it is a humongous boost forwards over the 10th Gen i7 if you're gaming. If you're not gaming, here's what I'm seeing. The screen, the resolution is exactly the same. The brightness seems to be exactly the same. Uh, on the Surface Pro 7 Plus, it's supposed to be a thinner screen. The thinner screen is supposed to allow for more space for a battery, so it has a larger battery. The battery is 50 watts versus 43. Now, do I actually see that when I'm using it? Yeah, yeah, I do. It's a pretty significant jump from 43 to 50. And so I'm seeing, it is some 4K video playback, the exact same video for the exact same time with the same brightness settings and the same power level settings for the battery. And I was seeing a 15% drain on the Surface Pro 7, and this is two months old, keep in mind, not years old. It's two months old. I'm seeing a 15% drain in 30 minutes of video playback at 4K, all that. And on the Surface Pro 7 Plus, I saw a 10% reduction in battery over 30 minutes. So over the course of a period of time, if you do uh, 10 minutes for every, that, that's 10 hours for the Surface Pro 7 uh, Plus, and that is six and a half, seven hours for the Surface Pro 7. Someone please check that math. I did that right here on the fly and it could be very, very wrong. Um, 10 minutes, That I think that's right. I think that's right. Okay, so is the battery life better? Yeah, yeah, it's better. Now, granted, when I was streaming to my Xbox from my Surface Pro 7 Plus, it got about two and a half hours of battery life. So it's not some groundbreaking, amazing new technology. It's going to eat through the battery if you're doing anything that's power hungry. So gaming, you're probably going to see less than two hours still gaming on the battery. And if you are doing um, gaming, what you're gonna see the biggest improvement in the Surface Pro 7 Plus is you're gonna be able to play a lot of games that were just simply unplayable on the i7 version of the Surface Pro 7. Old Surface Pro, you could barely play a handful of games. Some of them, I was surprised. I, I did video reviews all last year on gaming and I was very impressed with how far we'd come with the 10th generation. 11th generation is a totally different ball game. So I'm playing games that could barely play and you would play them and you're like, okay, I could make this work in a pinch. On the Surface Pro 7 Plus, the XE graphics, it's actually really fun and you kind of forget that you're playing on a tablet. So it's, it's good enough that I feel like, should I sit in my room um, with my Xbox? and have the big TV, or should I play on the Surface? And there's a lot of times where the Surface wins out. It's just, I would rather do it on this smaller screen with the controller right in front of me holding with the tablet stand. And I like that. Um, it's no longer a big sacrifice. And in the past, it was a big sacrifice. By the way, I have little metal strips here for attaching a magnet. Um, by the way, don't do that. There's a fan on this side and it will work up um, when a magnet's attached there. So I kind of figured that we were past the using magnetic components inside of PCs and tablet stage. Uh, we're not. Okay, N nothing broke, it's fine. Um, differences in thermal properties or heating. Um, now this could very well be due to um, the specific unit I have. As a lot of you guys know, this is my ninth Surface Pro 7 uh, due to a number of different problems that I experienced. Surface Pro 7, um, there was all sorts of problems. There was some that were heating, and that heating would cause massive lag and problems in applications when it got too hot. And it was scorching hot, like you could slowly cook an egg, but not bacon ever. But an egg, a little bit. The yolk would turn white. Now the that one that machine was returned. By the way, I like my skin, and um, the Surface Pro Seven Plus is hotter than the Surface Pro 7 by about 10 degrees almost all the time, even during basic tasks. So this one I'll see floating between 
uh, 75 and 85 degrees Fahrenheit, not Kelvin. And the Surface Pro 7 Plus is running at between 85 and 95. Now when, um, and that's it's cool to the touch, it doesn't feel cold, but it's not hot. Now if I start doing something like video editing or um, playback or something that requires a little bit more power consumption, that's going to ramp up to um, 100 to 115 degrees for the Surface Pro 7 Plus, whereas this one tops out about 100 and 105. Now, granted, this could be specific to this certain one. Even at 115, it's not hurting my hand. And I'm drawing on the screen. I can touch the screen. I don't feel like I need to pull my hand back. But it might cause my hand to sweat every once in a while. Um, Performance-wise, is that worth it for drawing? No. And I'm not seeing a big improvement in, this, in the screen or in the system for artists. It's not brighter. It was fast enough. It's not quieter, um, and that, again, could be this specific machine, but it's not quieter with the new fan design and the thermal, um, what the stuff they did. <laughs> it's not quieter, and I, I was really, really hoping for quieter. Um, for artists, I don't think there's a big enough reason to jump to this. If you're an artist and you do 3D, and you felt like your, your Pro 7 was topping out in ZBrush or Blender, yeah, 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 go for it all day long. Uh, if you want a game, way, way better. If you need better battery life, no, don't do it. Buy an external battery. There's some great ones uh, that cost 60 bucks and will double the life of your Surface Pro 7 instead of incrementally increase it by, in real world use, probably an hour. So um, those are my initial feelings on the Surface Pro 7 Plus. Um, I updated drivers, uh, the Bluetooth driver and the Intel graphics driver. I updated both of those. I had initially some sound problems with sounds crackling and I adjusted the uh, surround sound, Dolby Atmos, whatever it was, setting. And as soon as I clicked it on the first time, the crackling went away. I don't think anything's broken, but I do think there's some bug in there. Um, for other settings, I don't know yet. It's been about a week. So uh, subscribe to this channel if you want to learn more about the Surface Pro 7 Plus. Um, if you have questions, put those questions in the comment section. If I talk too fast, I had a lot of coffee. So play it in slow speed. You have that option on YouTube. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, stay creative and have a wonderful day.